Welcome Virgo and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a singles love reading for March 2020. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, so whenever you view this, it could be a past, present, or future situation for you. If it does not resonate at all, please try checking your moon, rising, and Venus signs for love. There are timestamps in the description box if you would like to skip ahead. I do a monthly giveaway now. I'm giving away three free 20-minute readings. All you have to do is um, <clears throat> follow me on Instagram, comment on any post for the month you want to enter for. February winners are going to be announced on March 1st. Virgo, I'm going to read your energy at the top. Your person at the bottom. It can be flipped or reversed. Okay. The strength card leo energy on the bottom of the deck all right i'm gonna get started with this energy up here we have the ace of swords so honest clarity communication getting the answers that you need gemini libra aquarius energy i feel like you're ready to have a conversation with somebody i feel like you already know this person you're ready to have a clear honest conversation with them you definitely could be dealing with an air so we have gemini energy here with the lovers <clears throat> So you feel divinely guided. Like this is your person. Like you know instinctually that this is your person. This is the person you're supposed to be with. This is a divinely guided connection. Like your angels, your guides, they are ushering you together. It's like everywhere you look, you find synchronicities. You see signs, right? Calling toward this person. Six of swords. There definitely could be travel involved here. You know, there could be movement toward each other. It's like You want to know how this person feels. You may be physically going to see this person or they could be coming to see you. And there's going to be a conversation here. Ten of coins, you know, you see longevity. You see loyalty. You see commitment. You see a family. Look at that family portrait there in the back. You know, and that, those treasures, right? It's having it all. It's having everything that you desire. You can see long term with this person. You can see growing old with them. You can see starting a family with this person. You can envision all of those things. Now, for your person, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Uh, we have the Temperance card. This person's been in a period of waiting. They've been trying to heal, maybe from a previous situation. But this person is like waiting to have this conversation with you. Maybe they've been waiting for you to initiate this conversation. We have the High Priestess. You could be dealing with a Pisces. But this person, they feel that you are very mysterious. They feel like you are very hard to read. They don't really know what you're thinking, how you're feeling. They want to approach you and get the information. I feel like there's a there's a lack in information here between the two of you. And th there's a need here to communicate, to have that conversation. Eight of Swords, this person cannot get you out of their mind. If they have pictures of you or have access to them, they're looking at them. They can't stop thinking about you. You're constantly on their mind. They're consumed with thoughts of you. They're trying to wait, try to be patient, try to hold back, try to be strong here. You definitely could be dealing with some more strong Pisces in their chart with the hanged man. This person isn't making any moves right now. This person's been very still up until now. They've been very stagnant. They've been kind of waiting to hear more information from you. They want to know how you're feeling. We have the Knight of Swords here. So here comes that conversation. And I feel like this conversation is very unexpected. Like you were not expecting to have this conversation this quickly like you you knew it was taking some time but like out of nowhere just out of the blue here it is let's talk about it <clears throat> seven of wands this person may be a little fearful that you were going to reject them or block them out or they feel like you know if they present this offer to you they've been kind of stagnant because they feel like if they come towards you with this truth this communication that you may not reciprocate you may block them. You may feel like, you know, we're better as friends. Let's not progress this further. This person's been trying to be strong Leo energy. They've been trying to hold back from you, but this person cannot contain themselves anymore. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is very passionate about you and they want to pursue a connection with you. They, they We have two very impulsive knights here on the table. This person full force wants to rush towards you. They want to move towards you. They want to make it happen. Gemini, Virgo energy here. This person wants to make it happen with you. They want to start it. They want to start a relationship with you. Now, one of you could have been went through a very painful ending or separation, or you may need to. We do have the release card over there. But this someone here has gone through a tower moment. Someone here feels rejected and ignored. And someone here is kind of going back and forth on what they need to do. Someone here is really stressed out, but someone has had a realization. You know, you are 
this is Virgo energy here, you are their queen of pentacles. They see stability with you. Now, they may feel like you have to end a, um, a situation or they may have had to do that. You know, this could be past, present, future for some of you guys. The energy here is someone did go through a painful situation. So maybe they feel like you would reject them. Maybe they feel like you, you know, you, your heart's been broken. You're still healing. They've been trying to wait and be patient here. They're afraid you're going to kind of block them out, put that wall up against them if they come in here and tell you if they want more. Um, but I do see embracing here. So I feel like the things are going to be progressing, heating up between the two of you. And I feel like on a soul level, there's definitely um, um, a connection, right? A, a deep rooted connection. We have what do you need to release. So something has to be released. This could be fear and anxiety from your person, fear that you're going to reject them. This could be somebody here in a situation that they need to let go of or that, or just if they, if both of you are single, this could very well be a situation where someone is just holding on to fear from the past because they've been through painful situations, you or them or both of you or both of you. <clears throat> I'm also noticing and this is a stork here. So fertility could be an, a thing for some of you guys. So like you guys could be very fertile at this time. So be careful of that. Ooh, cards flying. All right. Heart to heart conversations. <laughs> Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Here is that conversation, that conversation. And it's unexpected because they can't stop themselves. They're incredibly attracted. There's a lot of desire for you. There's chemistry. There's passion right this person they can't stop themselves they they're trying to hold back and be patient but they can't they can't be patient anymore virgo they're coming in they want to know they want to know how, what you're feeling they're going to initiate this conversation we have unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going what i feel like is this person feels like maybe they're not attractive enough but do you know what is under that card do you know what's under there chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here this is my twin flame card there's a strong physical desire and chemistry here this person they can't fight it anymore they've tried to hold back they've tried to wait but they can't they can't we have flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others they're going to be coming in here very flirtatious in hot pursuit of you this person wants to get really clear they can't hold back anymore they can't they can't they need to know what you're thinking we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits you forgive your parents. So for some of you, maybe you were, maybe someone was some, one of you was in a toxic relationship before things didn't work out, or maybe one of you just had, you know, an issue with like growing up and stuff like that, where you didn't have like the best influence or role models of like a relationship. So this person's a little bit fearful, but I feel like someone has gone through like a painful situation. And that's kind of what's an issue here. This person has to like forgive their partner, even if, they were completely in the wrong that they've been kind of like holding on to that and they're very fearful you know they're fearful of rejection they're fearful of getting hurt putting their heart out there we do have children your love life is being affected by children so for some of you not all of you you know children could be an issue here romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance we have worth waiting for here Divine timing is at work in your love life. Finances and career are an issue right now. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Keep an open mind. Your soul it may differ from your usual type and expectations. We also have wedding here. The situation involves marriage. So for some of you, you know, it could be a situation where someone's getting out of a marriage or something like that. We do have um, passion under that. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. There's a lot of passion, a lot of attraction, a lot of chemistry, like an undeniable pull toward one another. And this person's been trying to hold back, but they can't anymore. Now, they could have been tied in a situation. I feel I don't feel like this person's involved. And if they are, it's like a separation kind of energy where they're not really with their person. They're just kind of with them for the money or for the kids. But I feel like, I really feel like someone here has been really hurt and they're very afraid of rejection. They're afraid of opening that door. But I feel like the two of you are going to be growing closer and there's going to be a very honest conversation because this person, Virgo, they can't hold back anymore. They can't hold back. You know, you're very different from anyone they've been with in the past and they want to progress things with you. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.